your boy, Mature YT, aka the Manga Messiah, aka the opinion that's better than yours, aka the peak fiction God. I've been working hard. Let me catch my breath. All right, guys. Today we're talking about the ultimate food manga, and that is Toriko. You can see, oh shit, I had it backwards. That is Toriko. You see, I got it in the back. Amazing series. This is, this series right here, I won't even lie, like, nigga, this shit's top tier, honestly. Like, this makes my list. I haven't made an official, like, top five video or nothing, which is coming soon. Wait on it. I'm gonna do a tier list. Um... But I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys why this is the ultimate food manga. I watched and I watched and read Food Wars. I watched and read Iron Walk John. I read a little bit of Kitchen Princess. I, I read a little bit of everything. Like I didn't like go too in depth with most of the series, but I've read enough to the point where I can get the concept of the story. But with Tariko, oh my fucking god, this shit caught me off guard. First of all, first chapter in it. No, no, no. First episode of the anime, because I watched the anime first. I watched episode one of the anime, and I see Luffy. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what what's going on? One Piece collab. Not only that, later on, Dragon Ball Z collab. I'm like, th this is crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? I He's getting co-signed by One Piece. He's getting co-signed by Dragon Ball Z. Does that make this a good series just off that? Yes, it does. That's just facts. Toriko is a series that came out around 2012 when these series were popping. Naruto, One Piece, you know? So this is like the underdog. This wasn't really seen as much. Not a lot of people even know about this. Let me go ahead and jump right into it, man. Toriko takes place in the gourmet world. The gourmet world is like fucking 60 times bigger than the actual earth. Like, that's how they describe it. You know, it's like a... It's like an exaggeration. So imagine that you got this big ass earth, but then only a small portion of it is actually human world where actual humans live because the rest of it is too, in dang too dangerous for humans to inhabit. Now, this is the gourmet age. Everything's about food. Politics is about food. The news is about food. The chefs are more popular than celebrities, singers, you know, whoever the fuck, Tom Cruise, nigga, fuck all them niggas. Actors, they're nothing. Chefs are the top of the top. And most of the time, chefs will partner with gourmet hunters like Tariko himself here that hunt rare and exotic foods or hunt like a new, like discover new ingredients and bring them to the real world and they make new foods and everything. So that's why the chefs will pair with somebody like Tariko. And let me just go ahead and break down the power system so you guys can get an idea of that. Because I'm not really, really going to go too in-depth into the story because you got to read it for yourself. No spoilers. Tariko has something called gourmet cells. Gourmet cells were something that was like discovered centuries ago in a jellyfish. And then I guess once a fish eats the jellyfish, then those cells combine together and they create this thing called gourmet cells. So anybody that consumes like that food will... It's only... But it's rare though. Anybody that consumes a food can get those gourmet cells, but only if their body is capable of inhabiting those cells. And those cells have what's called a, a fucking, like, a fucking gourmet demon in it. They go like, and these demons have, like, certain powers. So, with Tariko, he has super strength, super speed, um, like... Dude's just crazy. Then we have another guy named Coco. Coco can like, he uses poison. He's immune to any type of poison. So he can eat poisonous foods and stuff and it has no effect on him. There's another guy named Sonny. This nigga literally like has like this hair and he can fucking attack people with it. And it can like extend out in a radius. So 10 meters, he's still touching and feeling on you and shit. Weird. Um, but then there's a guy named Zebra. Zebra can use like echolocation to figure out where the fuck anybody is. That nigga uses like... Uh, his voice is a thing like he like yell at people and shit like that and blow a bitch head off That's the stuff that I like about this manga. It's not just about fucking cooking niggas ain't just in the bit Pancakes ready. No, this is not none of that bro. This is <laughs> Niggas eating and beating ass that's what I like about this and You know you, you may say to yourself you're like, okay, well 
where, where where does this like go like where does this take place what's what's the whole plot what's the whole idea the whole idea of this manga is for Toriko to complete his full course meal every single gourmet guy cooks chefs even regular everyday people have what's called a full course meal you got your drink you got your entree you got your you know you, you know you guys can look this shit up yourself i really don't remember memorize the whole thing but just know there's a full course meal so there's very rare ingredients that have a certain like level you know they're really hard to capture really hard to find or they may have went extinct like years ago and Tariko goes out of his way to hunt these things go to these dangerous areas and most of these rare ingredients are found in what's called the gourmet world not a lot of people are able to survive out there like i said they die pretty much instantly there's so much wildlife over there there's weird gravity there's like whole lands where there's lava or there's whole lands where there's just full of poisonous gas this this is the shit that makes this different no one's doing this what manga have you heard of that's doing this none facts like that that's what really blew me about this it, it had me stuck because it's such an adventure there's such like a big vast open world and you don't even realize back to the full course meal he wants to capture for his main dish the ingredient called god now god only comes around every like few centuries and it takes place in the gourmet world and it was discovered originally by Asya. Asya is like pretty much like the godfather of the fucking gourmet generation. He's dead, of course, but it's like he has like all the rarest ingredients that are impossible to find. Like they're not like that anymore. So what happens? This is where the main premise in the story comes into play. So of course you got your good guys. Not everybody's good over here. We got the villains. The Gore May Corp, the ultimate villain group. Like these niggas remind me of of like this this is what I'm talking about where the inspiration comes from. They remind me of the Kotsky, like, but food related. So they capture ingredients to instinction. Like they'll make sure no one else gets it. If they get a certain ingredient, no one else is getting that bitch. They're taking all of it and then destroying the fucking area. If it's a certain animal they're hunting, they're gonna hunt that bitch to extinction. So that way they're the only ones who can have it. And that's why they're like these big and bad guys. And this is where the gourmet cells come to play. Every single person in the gourmet corp has a gourmet cell demon. So they got we got niggas who are throwing like plates and shit. We got niggas who are spitting bugs out their mouth. We got niggas who who got like super strength hard head like bro like it, it's it, it gets wild and the fights are so good like beyond good don't watch the anime read the manga please the manga the art is crazy like the art just just blew my mind like and you guys will see like images just popping up on screen because i'm just gonna have them doing that throughout the video but you see this you see this art bro you see this this is heat so what ends up happening is the gourmet corp is trying to revive Asya, who is dead. So and but they can only do this through gathering all of Asya's full course meal. So that's what the good guys start doing, like Toriko and the other, you know, you got Kamatsu and everything. They they start, you know, they, they want to get to the gourmet world, they want to level up and get faster. How can you level up? Well, that's by eating more rare and legendary foods. So they go down hunting other foods that are really rare, going to the gourmet period uh, pyramids, going to you know, different vast lands. My favorite part of the whole series was probably when they got the fucking the golden puffer whale, bro. And that's when we ran into our first little enemy, which was the GT robot. Now, this is what I'm talking about. The gourmet corp is crazy, bro. They're literally sitting in their base in virtual reality controlling a robot that translates pretty much half of their power and they're still whooping shit. Like, and I, 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 I don't know, that's just so creative to me. I, I just feel like this, this is the ultimate food manga. You got your great combinations. You got your food, right? And then you got your fucking fighting. I forget that this is a food manga sometimes. When people are just getting their ass whooped, it has blood in it. It has gore. A little bit, you know, like I forget this is a shonen sometimes. Like, just look at this. I'm not even going to pop this one on screen. Just look at the, just look at this stuff, bro. Like, y'all got to like, you got to get with it, bro. Like, like who? 
do y'all see that? Like, I don't think you're feeling me. Like, for real. As shit, shit go, hits the hits the fan. Like, I want to go into more detail, but I don't want to spoil it for y'all. You know. So, as a disciple of the channel, you know, you know what you need to do. Go ahead and read this manga. Go ahead and watch the anime if you want to. I, I don't recommend it. Watch, the, you know, read the manga. Or watch the anime if you're more into that. But it kind of, the animation's kind of dog shit towards the end. Not going to talk about it. And they don't finish the whole story. So, there's that. Um, but, you know, this has been Mashiro IT. <laughs> I'm out. Soda. Boku ga kira da. <laughs>